Oh, hey, I'm Levi. I'm a creative, an explorer, and an adventure seeker at heart. Welcome to Utah! A few years ago, I set out on a mission, and that was to find the most unique, inspiring, and downright amazing one night stays in America. And now I'm taking you along for the ride. This is Tiny BNB. Waking up in your treehouse, the first thing you feel is peace. No traffic, no sirens, no planes flying overhead, only bird song. That is the first words of the Airbnb description of the place I'm gonna be showing you today, which is the Skyframe, a tiny house A-frame in Maine. Let's go check this place out. Today we are located in Stanford, Maine, which is about an hour outside of Portland, and it's our very first time visiting Maine, and I can't be more excited. I've been wanting to come to Maine for so long now, and I'm so glad I'm here. You'll arrive at the sky frame and drive down the driveway and immediately see your gorgeous tiny house up in the air, eye level with the surrounding trees and forest. The property is absolutely gorgeous with the changing colors, all the boulders around, in the lake which the guests have access to. We will save that for later in this video though. Let's actually just get right into the tiny house itself. You'll walk up to the sky frame and walk up this spiral staircase which takes you up to your entrance. The wood design all around this is great and it even smells good. Let's walk through the front door and see what the inside has. Inside there's 350 square feet of living space which is that sweet spot for tiny houses. The great thing about the sky frame is that it can actually sleep four guests while having all the luxuries you need. The layout is pretty fun for this tiny house so let's get right to it. The left side is your living room, I'll call it, that also serves as your dining room. There's a reading chair right here in the corner and your dining and seating area in this other corner. There's two bench seats that surround this wood dining table that's big enough for all four guests. Above, there's a projector, and you can lower the screen above this window and watch some movies at night or even while you're eating dinner. On the other side of the stairs is your kitchen space. Over here, the kitchen spans across this whole wall. The left side has your refrigerator, which is big enough to house your full-size refrigerator. Then there's the 24-inch range, which is perfect for tiny houses, then your sink and countertop space. The countertop is wood with this beautiful live edge. On the right side, there's the dishes on the floating shelves and of course, your coffee maker over here. Overall, this kitchen is great and I love the shiplap that is all around in here and even the living room space and the natural tongue and groove for the ceilings all around. The wood design in here really makes it feel like a cabin and even the windowsills, there's this natural wood top. It is really cool. These stairs in the middle lead you to your loft, which are pretty unique. The steps are cut in a way to make you walk up them in a specific manner. Your right foot first and left foot, right foot. You can't switch because of the way it's cut. I believe this lets the stairs be more at an angle compared to other stairs, which have to be at a certain angle. You get a steeper angle for tiny houses. I think it's pretty cool and the wood, it just looks amazing. Anyway, you make it up to the loft and this is your first bedroom. This spot is super cozy and has plenty of space. There's a reading chair up here, your luggage holder, and even a nightstand. The wood all around continues to up here as well, and there's even two windows, with one being sunk into the wall right here. And I love how this looks, and it looks like just the one in the kitchen, and it is super cool design. Up here, you can overlook your living and kitchen space, and it really feels like there's more room than 350 square feet. Let's walk back down and into the back half of this tiny house. Back here, there's three doors to choose from. Which do you choose? The right? Okay. This is your closet space. There's not much back here, but it is nice to have in a tiny house. The door next to this one is a sliding pocket door that leads to your full bathroom. In here, there's your vanity on the left, which is this huge tree trunk with a blue bowl on top. Very unique looking. The faucet is actually in the wall, which is pretty neat. The blue bowl matches your shower, which is right next to this. A spacious shower that has hot and cold water and the blue tiling everywhere. 
Then of course your toilet is on this back side along with another closet space that has a unique fold door to it. The last door is your second bedroom. This has a similar feel to the other but has a burnt wood wall on the back side of your bed. I really like this a lot and it goes well with the white and natural wood shiplap in here. There's your nightstand on this tree trunk and there's a wall heater in here for the cooler months. So this room has a lot to offer but feels very minimal at the same time. And with that, that's the 350 square foot sky frame tiny house. What do you think? But before you answer that, there's more to the space. All of the outdoor space. We're going to check that out right now. On this back side is one of the coolest hot tub setups I have featured on this channel. The hot tub is tucked all between these huge boulders. Even the steps up to it are rock. The hot tub space is big enough for all four of you and you can sit here and enjoy your time surrounded by Earth's natural beauty. This is so cool. On the other side of the tiny house is an outdoor fire pit and more boulders to explore. They're all over this property. This property is very beautiful. There's also a trail that leads down to Littlefield Lake. Let's walk down this and check it out. After a quick two minute walk, you make it to your private dock on the lake. This is my favorite part of this day and it's so beautiful. The water is so calm and the trees are starting to change and it's just so peaceful out here. They even provide a canoe for you to use. So far I'm loving Maine. Good morning everybody. It is really cold out today. You can see my breath. There's snow on the ground. But today we are in Jeffersonville, New York and we are visiting a 250 square foot A-frame. This is a real treat to be here and I can't wait to show you guys. I think you are going to really find this place fascinating. So let's go check this place out. are in Jeffersonville, New York, which is about two hours drive from New York City in the Catskills Mountains. So if you're from anywhere in the region, you want to get out of the city or just have a staycation somewhere, the Catskills Mountains are beautiful and where this tiny black A-frame is located is beautiful as well. It is right on the edge of Jefferson Lake and right now it's all frozen over and you have a great view of the lake and even of the land across the lake. Such a great property and if you like A-frames, if you like tiny houses and if you like being out in the nature then this place is definitely for you. So this A-frame is 250 square feet of living space which is not a lot at all especially for an A-frame because the walls come in and that takes away a lot of the space. If we take a look at the front of the A-frame, this whole wall, front wall is glass and just beautiful. You have a small patio up here on the front as well and you can sit out here on the dining table in the summer. I'm sure this place is gorgeous but I did not use it here in the winter and there's also a grill on this side and you got the string lights all around which really set the tone for this place. The string lights plus the black colored windows it all looks beautiful. So this is the exterior of it and it is magazine quality I would say how beautiful this place looks so let's go walk on the inside now and see how they use 250 square feet of living space when you walk inside you can really see everything that this place has to offer the wood walls and the wood floor everywhere really set the cozy tone for this place and to start off on this right side you have a wood burning fireplace right here and they provide the wood for you and that really puts the cherry on top for a cozy cabin stay especially a tiny cabin stay anyway continuing along on this side there is a dining table here for you two chairs and they leave some sparkling juice here for you which is a nice gesture but if you don't want this dining table at all and you think it's taking up too much space you can actually take the chairs away and this table folds up into the wall and since this is only 250 square feet of living space if you need the space for something else this is a great way to gain additional space or you can sit here and eat your dinner and have the fireplace roaring right behind you and that'll be a really fun 
uh, dinner. Anyway, the kitchen is the next spot. It is a tiny kitchen tucked into this nook over here, but it has the necessities here for a couple days stay. It has a small air fryer, I believe this is what it is, or a little mini oven to cook any food you need. Also, there is a hot plate at the bottom of these cabinets if you need to actually cook any food, but in the cabinets has all of your dishes as well. You got your tiny sink up here right under this beautiful window. I always love that look and then just the rest of your supplies over here on the right side. They supply some coffee for you as well so you won't be going without any coffee while you're staying here and there's even a little mini fridge down here at the left side. So small kitchen but it has the stuff you need uh, if you're staying here just for a couple days and hanging out. But moving along the other side of this bottom floor is your living space. This is a custom made enlarged day bed under this window. Now this is where the bump out was in the A-frame we pointed out earlier in this video. So this saves space meaning you can push the bed up closer to the wall since it's not slanted. Yeah this is a great spot to hang out at or to have multiple people sit here this is advertised as a three person stay so one person could sleep down here on this bed and of course the loft upstairs which we'll get to in a second but if not it is here to be lounging on or sit on and even on the other side there is a small bookcase right where you can hang your jacket as well and they provide some games which is always nice to have here now the last part of this bottom floor is your bathroom space and it is right through this door right in the middle of this wall when you walk in here it is a pretty small space but it has your toilets and your shower all in one in here there's slate tiling all around this room really cool shower head right here and on the back side is is your toilet now this is a special toilet it is not a regular flushing one it is an incinerating toilet so it burns up all of your uh, stuff that goes in the toilet but there's no smell I think it just leaves ashes and the hosts come and clean that between each person's stay so very neat concept and an additional way to have a toilet if you don't have a septic system so there's that and that is everything on this bottom floor really interesting design for such a small a-frame usually stairs and a-frame take up so much space and right here in the front is your ladder that leads up to the loft so let's climb up that and check out your loft up here is really just your bed space. You have your bed right in the middle. The wood walls continue all the way up to the point up here. And there's actually enough room to be able to stand up here. So it's not a tiny loft. I like when lofts have enough space to be able to stand. And of course, the other side of this loft, it is all open. So it's kind of like a balcony. And you can see out to the windows because the windows take up the entire front wall. So you get great natural lighting and you get great views of the lake from either the bottom floor or up here in the loft. And that is how this 250 square foot A-frame tiny house is laid out. I think for such a small space, they did a really nice job and I hope you enjoyed these tiny houses.